fine day's work, brother. We need only record the heretical text we burned today, and our task is complete. Now, where's that ledger? Here, on the bench. But don't worry. I already noted all of the burned books. We should see if Sister Rosewood needs a hand, though. She discovered... There's nothing I can save from that fire. It's all ashes. I need to check that ledger and see if what I want is still here. For impotence? I tell you, I've seen enough take one mandrake root recipes to last a lifetime. No, this was different. Sister Rosewyn saw the archive's hiding place in a vision. She seemed deeply disturbed by what was in it, from what Brother Diaz told me. He heard her whisper, oh, what's that? Sister Rosewyn is keeping documents in the curator's... What was in it, from what Brother Diaz told me. He heard her whisper, this could destroy the Abbey. What? Stop this talk. It is nearing blasphemy. Sister Rosewind is keeping documents in the curator's office. I need to find them. Sister Rosewind is keeping documents in the curator's office. I need to find them. Am I being presumptuous? Hoping to cross paths with that monstrous assassin. They will rise up among you How like did she manage to get through the vent system? I don't know, but I saw her crawl out of that open hatch in the courtyard. I believe there is now only one witch left alive in the cellar holding chamber. Our ther- Therapy has thinned their numbers. Have you searched this one's corpse? Not yet. Brother Cardoza will want to examine it personally. Her death will serve the Abbey better than her wicked life ever could. Very true, brother. We must send someone to inspect that vent. We don't want another desperate rat creeping through the pipe. confronted with their heresy. Trinkets of mock bone, effigies of hair and teeth. I don't like that. Filled with a cult Better have a look. And then, the tears. They were scrambling to testify against one another by the end. They hoped betraying their sisters would compel us to mercy. But they were all found guilty, naturally. We could barely hear the sentencing over their wails. I am sorry to have missed it. Once, Pat and Brother Cardoza's face said she would never confess. <laughs> Did she? No. <laughs> we cut out her tongue.
Someone for there. trouble over there. What? By the strictures. into the deepest part of me. Let me out of this cage. Here, look. It's a door. It needs a key in it. Yes, so do I. But don't change the subject. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Oh. What the hey? It had caught my eye. That we unite against Why the spirits of the unknown. Such that would drag us screaming into the night. Never to Where return. are my sisters? They've all gone to the void without me. <clears throat> Kill them first. Kill them for the pieces of me they tore away. If they turn their eyes on me again, I am dead. it in my bones, in my blood, the music. For even the lowliest labor that is rigorous squeezes the muscles. How's that? By the strictures! Hey, you're the... He tis me into a tree and he withered away. We came here together, my love. A stream of and untruth. And now they peer into your The corpse. echoes of lies come back as the voice of the outsider. Huh? Still no word from our sisters. Strange. 
Very good. see everything, even inside my mind. But not if they're all dead. It's all right. You can finally leave this place. Leaving? I'm leaving. Hear this. Search on top of the painting on the left. You'll find the key to the locked door. <laughs> Very rare indeed for them to journey beyond this. Better search the place. Hello? What? what? Somebody's down! I will find you, you know. No. Is he? 
Hey, what happened here? I can smell the stench. Look everywhere! Nothing here! Nothing here. Let's have a look around. But Richard! Brothers, for are we not as one? will not return to us Brothers. Huh? What the? Anyone here? Show yourself. Whatever. Oh well. Nothing then. Then go 
on me. by this time. I will not. have led us to these unseemly devices. I have been attending to the dead, and some evenings I've heard voices coming from them. They speak in the... My sisters do not believe me, and some have gone so far as to accuse me of a lying tongue. I know this is black magic, some remnant of the witch's heresy, but I speak the truth. I brought this machine to record their utterances. They should speak any moment. Why am I the only one to hear our dead speak? What temptations of black magic are these? It whispers through their teeth. A voice without a throat. I swear to you that I've heard it. hands. She should be burned in the street with the rest of the filth. Why hasn't she? It's been three days since she fell. I must send a message to the overseers to come clean this...
seems agitated today. I believe a recent vision presses upon her. Brothers and sisters, if the outsider visits you, remember three things. Ignore his words, don't look him in the eye, and never, ever accept his gifts. requests your presence on the terrace. It's about the Heretic Archive. She wants you to take it. Yes, yes, very good. Marcus. ...presence on the terrace. It's about the Heretic Archive. She wants you to take it. Yes, yes, very good. Tell Sister Rosewind I'll be right there. I need to finish one little test first, before this creature's flesh degrades further. Hmm. Curvature is eroded in the frontal lobe. Unusual separation. It's as the stricture said. The errant mind becomes fractious and divided. Fascinating. What are they looking for? That they'd love to cut me open too. Brother Cardoza, at last, I've concluded my study of the hidden archive, especially this silver graph plate. A silver graph plate? What did you find out? Is there something special about it? It is an abomination. Darkness clings to it. We must destroy it, lest it fall into less righteous hands. Show it to no one, and burn its heretical stain from the world. I got it. I can take a look at this with a silver graph projector. If the oracular order really can see the future, then this silver graph plate will tell me what I need to know.
Return to us before the month of songs. <clears throat> There's still so much to mm -hmm. prepare. This is what I needed. run rampant and deep here. The High Overseer will want a thorough in- oh. There shouldn't be anything on this part of the mountain. Shindere North Quarry. That's where the Eyeless are getting into the void. I should keep the Silver Graph Plate with me. against the spirits of the unknown that would drag us scream you again I'll propose Shindere North Quarry. That's where the Eyeless are getting into the void. I should keep the Silver Graph Plate with me.
here. I'm coming to Calero. A peaceful old age of brandy and cigars. Is that what I want? area. You must need supplies. <sighs> Don't see many customers coming in from that district anymore. I hope the quarantine is lifted soon. Hmm, someone looks armed and dangerous. It's all yours, enjoy. Conservatory visitors used to be my best customers. Such a exotic. Nice doing business with you. You need something. Someone there. Uh, hey, over here. What do you want? It's my Lonnie. 
He went into that building with the red poster over there. Said he wanted to check for something real quick, like, well, that was hours ago, and he's not back. Hmm. And with overseers crawling all over the place, I just know something bad happened. You look tough. Why don't you go check on him? Can't. Promised I'd stay put right here, out of harm's way. Lon says we can't risk us both getting hurt, especially if... Please, Who's there? can you just go check on him for me? I, I, I'll make it worth your while. Is someone there? Uh. He didn't make it, but I found this letter with him. Thought you might want it. Oh, no. Lonnie, thank you. Here, take this for your trouble. Thanks. I found this ring Lonnie was looking for. I thought you'd want to have it. There's a darkness at the center of all things. It'll change you if you think about it too much, but it's always there. It waits for you. When I was in hiding, I tried to forget everything that I was. Now I aim to keep my promise to a dead man, someone who meant the world to me. Sometimes I still hear Dowd's voice echoing through the metal of this miserable knife. This is the strangest, most important thing I've been through. And that's saying a lot. There's a mining complex on Shindere Peak, somehow so obscure that most people don't believe it exists. That mad cult lives there, protecting the one place that can bring me face to face with the outsider himself. Years ago, I heard Dowd talking about the void, a fear that grips your throat, bends your spine, but I can't turn away now. What will we have left if the outsider's gone? His name might be lost to the void, but tonight I'll find out if he can still bleed. This is the place, Shindere North Quarry. It shouldn't exist, but from what I can see, this place is real, at least for now. Here the void is closest to the surface of reality. Breaking through and spilling out all the fear and power the Abbey of the Everyman tries to hide. You have uncovered more than most. What you do now will change the world. You again. You know I used to wonder if you'd speak to me. I almost wanted it. Every street kid, every desperate wretch pushed to the edge. 
They all wanted you to speak to them. Why didn't you? Why me, now? You know I'm here to end this. You and this disgusting cult. People have come to this place for centuries wanting many things. To elude death, to seek forbidden knowledge. They are never satisfied no matter how much they take. Not even the dead find peace here. You will find another relic of the cult's heart. A piece of whatever God came before my time. You will find the people who murdered me. When I knew them, they had names and ambitions. Now, they wander this place, their minds snared up with terrible secrets, keeping hidden the unspeakable ritual that made me what I am. Deep in the void, they put a knife to my throat and tore my name away. You have found the knife. Maybe you can find my name in the black viscera of this place. If you care to look. Why are you telling me this? What do you want? We both know how a mob can justify a murder to themselves. Who I was or what I wanted never mattered to the cultists here. I will not speak to you again. The next time we meet, you will be face to face with what was done to me all those years ago. Your mind echoes with everything that Dowd wants you to do. But I am here to say that you have a choice, Billy Lurk. <laughs>